In this video, we'll show you how to set up and connect to your Ultra 96 port from Pink. Specifically, we'll walk through how to prepare the SD card, set up the board, power it on, and connect networking. We'll conclude with how to use Jupyter, Samba, and serial terminals to communicate with your Ultra 96 board. First, if you don't already have an SD card with the Pink image installed, please download it from zboard.org. Once you've unzipped the image, it can be burned onto the SD card using several tools. Here we show WinDisk Imager. To set up the board, first this diagram shows the power socket, the micro SD slot, and the micro USB 3 port. Insert the micro SD card, connect the micro USB 2 cable, and connect the power adapter. Now that the board is set up, we can power on the board and connect networking. The power switch can be found is indicated in the diagram. Press the button to turn the board on. When you press the power button, the green LED will switch on, followed by the red init B LED. The red LED will turn off and the green done LED will turn on to indicate that the bitstream has been loaded. After a few seconds, the orange and blue LEDs will turn on. At this point, the operating system is loaded. Pink starts up Jupyter and can be accessed from a web browser. You need a network connection to access Jupyter. When you connect your board to your computer using a USB cable, the board acts as a USB Ethernet device known as Ethernet gadgets. This allows you to use a browser on your computer to connect to the board over the USB cable. You should not need to do anything to configure the connection. The board will serve an IP to your computer on this new local network and you can connect to the IP address of the board which is 192.168.3.1. Connecting over the USB cable is the recommended way to use Pink. Another option on boot, the board will automatically configure itself as a Wi-Fi access point. This allows you to connect your laptop directly to the board. Once connected, the IP address of the board is 192.168.2.1. Note in this scenario, the board will not have internet access. You can also connect the board to other Wi-Fi networks, for example, your home Wi-Fi. In this case, your laptop will also be connected to the same network. The easiest way to configure the Wi-Fi settings is to connect to the board using one of the other connection methods. Then the Wi-Fi notebook can be used to select and log into the network SSID. You can also connect a USB keyboard and mouse and a monitor to the mini display port of the board. This will allow you to access Pink from within a browser running on the board. You can also use any of the active IP addresses of that board to access Jupyter. Now with networking enabled, we'll show how to connect to the board with Jupyter, Samba, and serial terminals. Once you have a network connection to the board, open a browser on your computer to connect to the Ultra 96 board. If you have connected a monitor directly to the board, use the Chromium browser. You should see the Jupyter login screen on your browser. The Jupyter password is Xilinx, all lowercase. You are now ready to start using Pink. Go to the Getting Started directory and try the introductory notebooks there. Once you have done that, or if you are already familiar with Jupyter, you can try out some of the other examples. If you have any questions or problems, please post to the public Pink forum. Samba allows files to be shared over a network and is running on the board. This allows you to connect to the board as a network drive to transfer files. In Windows, you can browse through the Samba share using double backslash and the IP address of the board. In Mac OS and Linux, you need the SMB prefix. When you connect, you should see a Xilinx folder. When you try to open it, you will be prompted for login details. The username and password are both Xilinx, all lowercase. In order to use a terminal, you can do this from Jupyter. Select New and then Terminal. This will open up a terminal as root in your browser. This will give you access to the Linux shell. The USB cable also acts as a serial device, allowing you to connect to a terminal. If you need to use a terminal emulator on your computer, you first need to know the COM port of the board. In Windows, you can find this in the Device Manager under Ports. Launching PuTTY or any other emulator, select Serial as a connection type. Enter the COM port number and set the speed to 115200. Click Open to launch the terminal. This concludes the Pink Ultra 96 video. For further information and support, see the listed Ultra 96 and Pink web pages.